as you're reading uh, the title of this video, you should know that Project Veritas is literally garbage journalism. And the reason comes within their Twitter account being suspended permanently, as I will show you in just a moment. But I will read a tweet before we get to the video of what of what garbage journalism means. And that video that I'm gonna show you is about them trying to expose CNN for the 100th time, and it has never worked. I think, I, I think we got him. We would always hear shots of him jogging. Him and TV interchange, and like, it's like you paint him as a terrible young geriatric. You were creating something new. He didn't know anything about it. That's the thing. I think that's probably the people we get, we got from that. I am 100% going to say it. And I'm 100% believe it. But if it wasn't for CNN, I don't know that Trump would have gotten voted out. Our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be the climate change awareness. Do you think it's going to be just like a lot of like fear? Like, Climate. Yeah, fear self. Fear self. No one ever says those things out loud, but it's obvious. For years, we've heard that CNN is the most trusted name in news, but a CNN director is on tape telling us that they're propaganda, helping a certain political candidate, employees admitting what we've always known to be true. Trump uh, was, uh, I don't know, like his hand was shaking or whatever. We brought in like so many medical people to like all tell a story that like it was all speculation. He was like neurological damage, like that, and he was losing it, something fit to you know whatever. We were we were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. You know? I think there's just like a COVID fatigue, so like whenever a new story comes up they're going to latch onto it. They've already announced in our office that once the public is will be open to it, we're going to start focusing mainly on climate. It's, it's going to be our focus. Like, uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be climate change. Awareness. Uh, you know, head of the network, like, just... Our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was. And that's the question, Mr. Zucker. Why is it so important to hide the truth of what you're really... All the MAGA domestic terrorist cult who are dumb enough to follow Project Veritas and their latest expo scene and clown show just remembered this. Tell me up. And it shows a picture of James O'Keefe, founder and president of Project Veritas, multiple accusations of sexual misconduct, known for fraudulent video editing practices, convicted criminal phone tampering in 2010, and star pro Prodigy of Andrew Breitbart. Pocket Virtus is about as reliable as a drunk slug at your at a girl. Hashtag Spo CNN. Exactly. They are as reliable as a drunk slug at a girl because they expose CNN for one of the most one of the most petty shit that no one cares about. I mean, no one cares if you're gonna expose CNN for like, fo mainly focusing on on Trump's inconsistencies with the pandemic and the fact that the American people were actually sick and tired of Donald Trump, me included, as an American people person. I'm sick of Donald Trump. And we all headed there to vote. This wasn't CNN's doing. This was America's doing. America wants to live. America wants 
a new president that can handle the virus. Trump couldn't do that. Trump really couldn't do that. I tried watching the Project Veritas expose CNN and take down, but I couldn't read a single one of their graphics because I'm not fluent in clown. Yeah, exactly. They are clown. This just in, Project Veritas is literally garbage journalism, and the fact that there's two trends of CNN exposed right now, while Fox News is literally sidestepping the Matt Gates story, should tell you everything. Dude trafficked a minor for sex. Yeah, if Pancho Veritas was actually good journalism, they would go and expose Fox News for not covering the, the Matt Gates situation, which has been happening for about almost, like, what, a week now? I mean, seriously, I uploaded a video about it, too. I mean, that's how hypocritical Pancho Veritas is. And Pancho Veritas is literally the people who are most likely to keep creating propaganda. Because Pancho Veritas isn't a trustworthy news source. They never were a news source anyways. I mean, for a guy like Mike Davis who tweeted that it's truly a disgrace and cowardly, but unsurprising that Twitter banned Project Veritas for its quote-unquote investigative journalism on market abuses by technologists. Naturally, most mainstream liberal reporters aren't principled enough to raise hell. Well, Twitter has the right to do that because Roger Virtus spew lies. And it's about time too. I mean, seriously. Do you know how many tweets they tried to... Roger Virtus tried to expose the news media all the time? Like, it gets so annoying. I made a video about Roger Virtus trying to falsely expose CBS News last year and, you know, I still believe that because Roger Virtus has a propaganda to not investigate anything else other than what CNN is doing, which is getting really annoying. You know? I am glad Twitter suspended Roger Virtus permanently. They shouldn't have a Twitter account to begin with. In fact, I wish all social media platforms and Roger Virtus from every single site so they never come to our presence ever again. Seriously. I'm gonna show you one of these other videos now before Twitter goes on and suspends James Lucas' Twitter account shortly and hopefully they do because James Lucas tweeted, Busted, I confirmed to see and director Charlie Chester about his claims that the network used "Quote unquote propaganda in the fear to push down their message. He was not happy to see me. Of course he wasn't, because he knows who you guys are. You guys fake everything up. You hire these so so-called proclaimed whistleblowers who will ultimately detract their statements, like the last one that happened." When, when you try to expose CNN for, for news covering the presidential election. We're outside this restaurant in Jersey City, about to confront Charlie Chester, CNN's technical director. CNN employee is inside the restaurant. We got him on camera. He's meeting with our undercover reporter. He expects that person to return to the table, but I'm going to be returning to the table in a minute. Let's go. Charlie. Is this seat taken? I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. You're a technical director at CNN. You're on camera talking about the importance of getting Trump out of office without saying that's what your intent is. Our yeah, well, focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying that that's what it was, right? Look what we did. We got Trump out of office. That's your on tape saying this. Yeah. I just want to ask you. I asked you now. What you're you close to you within six feet of me. I, I, well, I, can, I can stand six feet away from you and ask the same questions. That sounds like a good idea. 
Well, you also well, you also said that uh, it was in your words, quote, propaganda. We were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. You know, so that's, that's, I think that's propaganda. I'm not, I'm quoting you here. All right. Well, you've already spoken with us. You admit your network is helping certain candidates for political office, and you're admitting that you wanted to hide it. Why hide it, Charlie? He said he's not talking to you. Maybe you should listen, James. Okay, if you, you annoying, um, terrible, terrible journalist exposer. You're a terrible journalist exposer. A scumbag, really. Why hide it? They never have the courage to say publicly what they will say privately. That's courage right there. That's courage. Yeah, drive away. You won't be able to drive away from the truth. How do you sleep at night? Charlie had nothing to say. Certainly shocked. We had asked him about his comments. He said the quiet part out loud. No, no one ever says those things out loud. We got him on tape. He drove away. What do you do for the for the pancake house here? Server, it's my first day. Did you serve this man this morning? I did. You served. Who was he like? He was kind of rude. Yeah, he was a little bit standoffish. I tried to get his order, and they were not feeling it. So you want to work at Project Veritas? I do. Well, let's. We may have got a prospective employee at Project Veritas. Yeah. Prospective employee at Project Veritas. Yeah. Right. And that least face that he blurred is probably not the one that works for the restaurant that you just went in, because all you guys do is hire fake actors who pretend to be working at a place that they weren't actually working for. And the fact that you guys done, done it again since 2020 last year is just sickening and despicable. Just stop creating false narratives. And if the guy like Charlie Chester tells you to leave him alone, then you leave him alone because he does not want to talk to you guys. You said this so many times. Like you guys are so annoying, and I wish your account gets taken down next permanently, James O'Keefe. You don't deserve it. I agree with this person who says you literally aren't providing any real proof that this man is the real scene and employee. Stop tweeting the LinkedIn page and please provide something concrete. Yeah, I mean, come on. How's this, Charlie's? Reveal LinkedIn page if he actually worked for CNN. That is not proof enough. Provide something concrete. Uh -huh. Probably on the edge to see every night for metal or download. Even on video, it's not enough for ya. Uh, I don't watch mainstream media of any sort. I try to make my own mind up, and not being able to identify whoever in that video was claiming to work at CNN, it makes this whole thing worthless. Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. Arch Veritas is known for faking things up. How do I know that Charlie works for CNN? How? The internet is forever. Charlie Chester's reading his Twitter today. Okay. I can assure you, Charlie doesn't care what O'Keefe is talking about. Yeah, exactly. I don't care either. So why is James O'Keefe the irrelevant, self-proclaimed, investigative journalist? Is still around. Ponte Bertas and him are a failure to our ex to our society today. It is pathetic that I have to see more Bertas garbage. Like, if I follow but Ponte Bertas's Twitter account every day, if I follow, if I follow on. Controvert this Twitter account and then read their tweets every day. Like, Controvertus would be a low life scum 
that does nothing but, you know, fake a situation that never happened. And Project Veritas is kind of known for that. And this is journalism at its finest. Is it Dinesh D'Souza? Is it really? Because I can assure you it's not. It's not even journalism. Oh boy, there's a tweet from a Sinclair broadcasting station saying that Roger Bird just unveiled a video on Tuesday that the group says of a CNN that's not describing how the network worked to show how then President candidate Joe Biden in favorable light during the 2020 president dental campaign. Which again, Project Verge has, has done nothing. Project Verge just lies. And they will keep doing that. They will keep doing that all they want. But it, this shit is just hiring right now. Project Verge just really should, you know, just stand down and retire. And again, I'm glad that Twitter account has been permanently suspended. James O'Keefe's Twitter account should be next. I don't want to see his ass on Twitter anymore. Like, I'm just tired of it. I'm just so, so, so tired. Trent Virtus has been exposed as a Republican, a Republican grift every time they open their mouth. Yeah, they are a Republican grift. I mean, they can't even do investigative journalism about Fox News. So they would so they would do anything about about CNN and CBS News and ABC News while they completely ignore anything about Fox News. I mean, come on. How about the time that that one their Fox News right wing show host say that coronavirus was fake at the time and they were sued for it and they changed course because they were caught. Hmm? Why didn't Project Veritas investigate that? Exactly. 